Chef Esteban Martinez, and I am the chair of the Culinary Arts Program at Bristol Community College. We offer associates and certificate programs in culinary arts and baking and pastry. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Bristol Community Cooking. This program will introduce you to a restaurant in the South Coast. You'll meet the owner and the chef of the restaurant, learn of their background and the story behind their entrepreneurial journey. The chef will then cook a signature dish with the help of a Bristol culinary arts student. Joining us today is Mackenzie Canty. In today's episode, we're featuring a hidden culinary gem, the Path Restaurant and Lounge located on 820 King Philip Street in Fall River, which was the former Lusitano restaurant site in the south end of the city. We are joined by Gaynor Forrester Brooks, the owner of the Path Restaurant and Lounge. Welcome, Gaynor, and thank you for joining us. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me today. As I understand, you're a banker investor with real estate in Boston and Brockton. What was your vision to start the Path, and what is the journey behind the restaurant? So as the oldest of four kids, um, I always, always I had a passion for cooking. So I would always be cooking, and I'm always the host of my home. So I decided when we got the opportunity to buy the portfolio, why not make the path an owner-occupied restaurant where I can, you know, show off my culinary skills, although I am a banker at heart. Can you talk about the cuisine of the path and the uniqueness that it offers to his guests? Sure. So the path represents the journey it took for my husband and I and our family to get to where we are today. We're humble and grateful, and that's why we, we took the name The Path. Um, and then what it does, my husband's from Jamaica, I'm from Guyana, British Guyana, and we combine both, both of the Caribbean slash island countries with other Caribbean countries and have those inspired dishes at the path. In addition to the restaurant, you also have a banquet facility. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure. So we do have an updated banquet facility, which holds a total capacity of 215 people at a time. That's just for the banquet. And currently we have... Um, corporate events that's held there, three per month. Um, and we have other events such as, you know, quinceaneras, um, birthdays, weddings. We had our wedding there in 2021. So yeah, we're super excited about that. Excellent, so what are we making today? So we'll be doing three dishes, in Caribbean inspired. We'll have the curry chicken, which would be up first. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll use some of our spices, authentic spices. And then we'll do the um, Jamaican jerk chicken, and that will be some of ghrelin and a few spices. And finally, we'll do a shrimp fried rice, which is inspired. It's a Guyanese slash Asian dish because we do have six different races and five in Guyana. So I implemented a, the Chinese fried rice where I'll use all of the Chinese spices or Asian spices, if you may. And um, to top that up, the bonus we'll give you guys today is some cocktail patties, and that is inspired straight from Jamaica. That all sounds delicious. I can't wait until everything is done. We'll start cooking right after this. Are you ready to turn your passion for food into a fulfilling career? Look no further than Bristol Community College's Culinary Arts and Baking and Pastry programs. From food preparation to front of house, we prepare you for a range of positions in the dynamic world of food service, pastry arts, and hospitality. Your journey to a flavorful future begins at Bristol. Enroll today. Visit bristolcc.edu or contact Esteban Martinez for more information. Welcome back, Gaynor. Let's get started. What are we sure. doing first? So we're going to do the curry chicken, Mackenzie, and you're yeah. going to be my helper today. All right, so yeah. let's, we're going to start seasoning that. Let me just quickly introduce some of the spices that I'll be using today. Um, we're going to add some turmeric, Mackenzie, and the turmeric will enhance the flavor. And it's also good. So yeah. it's, it's a lot of people use turmeric. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to sparingly put some of that in here now. OK. So I use the turmeric. You saw me chop garlic and ginger. That's a huge part of the dish. So I'll just take some of the garlic and infuse that in here. I'll use some ginger also, which mm -hmm. I grind from um, here. And I'll use some of the finely thyme. 
So we'll use some of that. And I didn't chop it because I wanted the entire mm -hmm. root in there. I'll use some garlic powder, although I did put the fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put just a little dust of garlic powder. All right. Any questions? No. Okay. This is a season that I make sure that what we do, we, we parched it. We call it parched. Or you can say bake, and then I mm. crush it, and I add some other inspired seasonings. This is a dry spice that I will add some of it to the curry. What kind of spices do you use in that? This has pimento. Mm. It has jeera and masala. Now, it's very popular in any Indian country. Mm. And we do have Indian and Guyana Indians, so it's an Indian expired dish, but it's also used all over the country, including Jamaica and Guyana. This is another ground masala. Okay. Has a very, it's a spice, so it's a little dark, a mm -hmm. little dark to it. And I'm going to just add the curry. I have two different curries. This is the Jamaican curry, it says here. And this one is from Guyana. Again, I blend it too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, but I do. Okay. Just gonna sparingly put some of it in here. I'm going to mix it. Or would you like to help me mix it? Sure. And sure. Gainer, we are using chicken breast for this dish? We're using only chicken, chicken breast. breast. Um, just so you know, though, in our restaurant in the path, we use the entire chicken in the last quarter. So we buy the chicken, skin it, and mm -hmm. deep, uh, make sure it's in there. So you get the entire Caribbean experience. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and mix it for me, Mackenzie. And then we'll just um, put some oil in the pan and we'll get started. You can, the first thing we'll pour is the oil. Yes, we'll pour all of that oil in there. And then we'll add some garlic. It's right here. You can add some more. Great. We'll give it some time to warm up. You don't mind me raising it a little bit, a tad bit more. So what is the pot you're using for the curry chicken? So I use this particular pot as a favorite pot of mine. Mm -hmm. um, it's all clogged, but I'm not promoting. So mm -hmm. the reason I use it is very thick, and it, it keeps everything, to me, all the substance. It doesn't burn easily. We can now pour some of the curry. And you can pour, like, double this amount. Of, put some more. Perfect. All right. Can we get some more temperature on the Perfect. All right. I, I like to see how the curry is kind of bubbling mm -hmm. the And now you can add your chicken. And that's the chicken breast. I'm going to go a little lower so it doesn't spill on you. Perfect. Nice. We can leave a tad bit of water so we can create some, some sauce for the curry. And you want to stir that for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can we have some water? Thank you so much. There's one secret ingredient I want to add, Mackenzie. And that's a mango sauce. I'll grab it for you, okay? Mm -hmm. This has some, it's a mango sauce. And it gives flavor, some like, extra flavor to the chicken. So if you don't mind pouring half of this, mm -hmm. just half of it. Perfect. Nice. All right, you can add some water in the Mackenzie, and then we cover it. We're gonna pour all of it. Nice. And now you're gonna let the curry just slowly cook for a little bit, and you come back and check it in like a couple minutes. Okay. You wanna check the temperature. You can actually turn it down a bit, so we know it's not good. Perfect. So Mackenzie, now do you mind adding the potatoes in and just a tad of coconut milk when you're done with that? So you want to stir that up a little mm -hmm. and we're going to do a quarter of the, I'll tell you when to mm -hmm. stop pouring the coconut milk, okay? okay. Perfect. 
Perfect. Nice. I think that's enough because we just want to get the flavor in there. This is the coconut milk. Just a tip bit more. Mm -hmm. so it's adding a flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yay. Last thing we'll add, Mackenzie, is some all purpose Jamaican seasoning again. And I'm just going to grab it for you. Here it is. Not much, just a tad for taste. I always say you can add, um, you can always add, but you can't take away. So we want to. For the minimal amount, we want to mm -hmm. taste it, make sure it's right, and then if we need to add more, we can add. Perfect. All right, we want to cover that to simmer just another, I'll say five, seven minutes. Let's time it, and then we're good to go. The curry is all set. Gainer, what is the second dish you're preparing today? So the second dish we're going to do, Mackenzie and I, would be the shrimp fried rice. That is, again, an Asian-inspired dish from Guyana. And we're gonna add pineapples in it and just, just to um, kick boost the taste mm -hmm. some more and add our authenticness into that. Okay. As far. So we already have your, you have your shrimp fried rice and you have the carrots. So let's start by seasoning some of the shrimp. And we do leave the tail on. You'll notice some of them have the tail on, Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Some more. Perfect. Yes. So for that now, we'll use some of this spice, please. That's called five spice. And it has, um, it has some of the dry seasoning, also some salt. And that's done by me also, it's inspired. We'll add eggs later, mm -hmm. okay? We have some soy sauce. If you don't mind just dropping a tad bit in there for now. Mm -hmm. And then a tad bit of sesame oil, please. Thank you. We'll also add a tad bit of the ginger, the ground ginger that I just, yeah, there's not much, but yeah, yes, good. that's good enough. It's still gonna give it the cake. Perfect. That's the prep. Mix it in. So I'll give this over to you so you can pour just a tad bit into this Work and then when you put it into the wok, we we'll saute the shrimp separately. You can put some more. I'll tell you when to stop. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Then you can add your shrimp. So you just want to keep stirring and make, you'll see it's cooking as it changes color. Cover that for a few minutes, if you don't mind. Just a little bit. And then now we, uh, I'll turn this down for you because we want to focus on both. And now we'll start the fried rice, the veggie fried rice, then okay. integrate that. So now we'll take a drip of the sesame oil. I'm gonna pour some sesame oil on there. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Perfect. We'll get our eggs. We'll use four eggs. Okay. Okay. You can use as much as desired. Mm -hmm. I normally, okay. would you like me to crack it for you? I can crack them. You can crack them? Yes. So I just hit it and crack them and drop okay. them in. Drop the eggs. Perfect. you 
the form a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you can hop over and take a look at your shirt. Yep, you want to step back. You notice it changed color? Yep. Can I hold that for you? I can hold that for you. Sorry. Perfect. Yeah. So I like to kind of dress up my eggs. So we'll use some green onions into the eggs and then we can start scrambling them if you wish. And pour some more if you don't mind. Yeah. Now we can add some of the rice that we um, steam mm -hmm. into the pan please. Thank you. Perfect. I think you have enough there. I'll help you with that. You notice your shrimp is almost okay. done cooking? Yep. It's pretty much done. Mackenzie, if you can add, these are the Asian spices mm -hmm. that I explained earlier, so we want to add some of that. I'll tell you when to stop pouring. And you want to scatter it, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Scatter, scatter. Scatter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Let's add the carrots and the cabbage in now, just because you want to have it cooked just a little tidbit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do half of that. Perfect. Some onions. You can use some more when you get a chance. Yeah. And the carrots, please. Good job. And then you're going to stir fry all of that. <coughs> It's more colorful now. Yeah. Nice. All right. Now we're going to add the shrimp into the fried rice. And we have one more thing, a few more things to add. Maybe one, I think. And you want me to help you pour? I'm good. Okay. No, no, not the sauce, just the oh, shrimp. Just the shrimp? Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to add the color and some flavor enhancer. This is a Chinese fried rice sauce. And we're going to add some of this a tad bit. Would you like to pour? You can pour and I'll tell you when to stop. Perfect. Yeah, a little tad bit more. Tad bit. Perfect. Yay. There you go. Oops. So we can add some celery and green onions, and then once we add the celery and scallion, we're done, your fried rice is done. Celery, half of that, perfect, and some scallion. And this is the infamous pineapple. You have your pineapples. Mm -hmm. And then you stir fry and you're all set with the shrimp fried rice with pineapple. Thank you. Gina, we have some grilled chicken. What are you doing with this? Yes, this is fresh off the grill. And we're gonna have some Jamaican jerk chicken today. Oh, that sounds Mackenzie delicious. Mackenzie will be again my buddy when we're doing mm -hmm. this. So we'll get started by just mixing the, um, the sauce 
because this just came off the grill. It's kind of warm, so I'm gonna put that there. Um, we have your all-purpose seasoning, Jamaican-inspired. Here it is, Easy Spice. Okay, we pour just a little bit of that for me, please. It's a tiny bit because we want to watch it. Perfect. And then we have the um, the jerk season. And this is something that I have is done in in house at the restaurant. Nice. So it's very spicy. So, what do you awesome. put in the jerk sauce? Great. So it has pepper, pimento. It has some cinnamon, thyme, mm -hmm. um, garlic ginger that's how i i make it from fresh oh, nice. and then you grind that into a bullet or a ninja whichever way you may mm -hmm. want to do is that and enough that we is need to put more fresh season. yeah so no that's enough that's for enough. now because okay. i want to watch the spice intake okay. yeah. <laughs> and this can be done in medium um mild or spicy mm -hmm. okay this is our infamous jerk <laughs> sauce this is the plant signature jerk sauce mm -hmm. and um that again is just now done with a sweet sauce and it's boiled on our in, on the stove mm -hmm. and then we prep them oh, okay nice. and you notice the pimento seed is right yeah. there you can pour some more we're going to use half or three quarter of this because it, oh, go, go, so you go. can pour, yeah, pour. pour. <laughs> we want to make it nice and saucy That's over good. here perfect we may need to add some more but let's see what happens and here you go. You can mix. I'll work with you, so. Perfect. Nice. And then you pour it out. You want to smother the chicken with the sauce. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Yep. Yep. Guys, there you have your jerk chicken. <laughs> so Mackenzie, we're just going to rest the jerk chicken back into the oven at a temperature of 300, just to make sure it's, re it's heated and then it's gonna be ready to serve. Okay, great job, thank you. Thank you so much. It looks delicious. So you're from Guyana. I am. So can you talk a little bit about the differences in Caribbean food among all the Caribbean islands? Sure. So Guyana is um, kind of in South, it is South America. Yeah. Near to Trinidad and Brazil. The differences, the slight differences is just the spices. Right. Um, like you see me add coconut milk today to my yeah. curry. Yes. That's something we use in Guyana. Jamaicans will do it too, depending on which curry they're cooking. Right. There are various kinds of curries you can cook. Yeah. Um, and this one just we did today was the co coconut milk. Um, again, it's just the spices. Yeah. You know, but we still go like I buy Chinese spices. Mm -hmm. As you saw, I had my sesame oil, yeah. my soy sauce and all that stuff. And that was for the fried rice. What about the pineapple on the fried rice? So that is something that differentiates Guyana from from the other Caribbean countries because we have pineapple fried rice. Right. But again, you might see it somewhere else too. So, all right. Great. Then you have your jerk chicken and that is Jamaican inspired again. Right. It's grilled, the spices again, it's just a tad bit different. Mm -hmm. I know you're involved with some community outreach. Can you talk a little bit about the future initiative that you have with the restaurant? Sure. So the, we just don't want to look as a, as a, as a restaurant only. Right. Um, because I do have a banking stash investors background. Right. So some of the things that we are in talks with some people in the community about, um, and that would be financial literacy, um, okay. asthma and allergy. Yeah. Um, because my son struggled with asthma before. Yeah. So we have brought, um, brought up that as discussion mm -hmm. in the future. Um, and um, we speaking with kids. Yeah. Um, you know, how kids that, I want to say at risk kids. So that's another thing that we're working on, um, working closely with 
the community uh, members to initiate a program that is specifically focused on at-risk youths in the community of Fall River. Oh, that's excellent. That's great. So for the plan, our future plan is obviously to continue to have exquisite customer experience. Yep. Um, I just don't believe in just walking in and getting a plate of food. Um, we want to make sure that we do more community involvement. Um, when kids come in, we do 10% off most times, and sometimes we let them eat free. And those are things that we're going to do. Toy drive at Christmas time and all that good stuff. That's amazing. It's, yes, it's all about giving back, so we're excited about that. Well, thank you for being featured in our inaugural episode, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for having us. We are excited and humbled that you chose us, and we're grateful. Thank oh, you you're again. welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching the show. Join us again on Bristol Community Cooking as we spotlight another restaurant and their cuisine. Until then, bon appetit.